so I thought I would make a video discussing with you guys what exactly it, it takes for people to lift these weights, what I think it takes. Um, it does not take a fucking happy individual to do this shit. To lift these kinds of weights is not a happy thing. It's not something you do if you are content and happy and everything's going fantastic and your life was fucking wonderful. Okay, it, that's not what it is. Okay, you do not take drugs that fuck your body up for the rest of your life, that kill you young, that fucking make it so your hormones don't work anymore, that, you know, do all these fucking horrible things to your mind and shit because you're happy. You do not try and pick up 800 pounds and fucking, and look like you're gonna fucking kill somebody before you do it because everything's fucking great. You do not put yourself through workouts that can cripple you on a regular basis. These workouts can cripple you. They can destroy your back and knees and shoulders. They can fuck you up for life any day. You don't do that because you're happy and content, okay? You don't do that because everything's fucking fantastic. You have your own, everyone has their own reasons for doing that shit, but what I've found is it takes an unhappy, unusually motivated individual, okay? It takes someone who's willing to literally do whatever the fuck it takes to reach their goals for whatever reason they've decided that those are their goals, okay? You can't do that shit if you have other options in your mind. If, if you could be just as happy peeling fucking potatoes as deadlifting 900 pounds, you're gonna be peeling potatoes, not fucking deadlifting 900 pounds. Okay, if you can be just as happy not being super huge and strong and shit, you are not going to take drugs. You are not going to fuck your body up for life. You are not going to go through the extreme abuse of diet and supplements and training that it takes to get to these fucking levels. His body shape, you wouldn't expect him to do particularly well here. Starting to struggle a little bit. Coming up to one and a half. How much further will he get? Look, the arms are starting to sink down to his waist. He is barely able to move now. This is mind over matter. Now let me tell you something. These mothers who have been known to lift cars off their children or whatever when they're trapped in their cars, do you think they do that because they feel okay? Do you think they do that because everything's just fucking fine going on in their mind right now? Or do you think they're doing that shit because something horrific is playing out in their fucking head? That they know someone is going to get burned fucking alive or crushed to death if they don't do some shit. It's a motivating factor that you cannot get if everything is fine. Do you think they could watch a comedy and smoke some fucking weed and, and hang out with their friends and uh, get, a, get a bonus right beforehand and then just go and lift a car off somebody? No. You can't do that shit if you're happy. And guess what? If you have the motivation to do that kind of shit, it's not something you turn off and on. You don't fucking just ignore it all week and then you bust, you bust that shit out on Sunday. It's something you fucking live with. Otherwise, you would never go through all the fucking trouble and all the effort that it takes to do these things. You people who don't understand this shit, you just don't fucking understand it. Don't try and give people advice about it. It's fucking retarded of you. I don't care how many fucking ebooks you read. I don't give a shit. Okay? You guys have different goals than me. Everyone has their own fucking goals. I'm not gonna go and tell you that you shouldn't want to be a fucking singer because lifting weights is more fun. Or I think you'd have a fucking more balanced life if you stopped working towards your goals so, so dedicatedly. Not everything is the way you fucking think it is. You're gonna come and give me advice like I should be learning from you because you have nothing to learn. No, there's something for you to learn here. Is that my goals aren't the fucking same as yours. Okay, yeah. There's fucked up shit that's gone on in my life that might motivate me to do what I do. Sure, that doesn't mean I'm unhappy with what I'm doing. I like the way these negative things affect me because I like the way they help me reach my goals. I love the shit I do. That's why I do it. I wouldn't do this shit if I didn't fucking love doing it. And I wouldn't be able to do this shit if I was happy without doing it. I would fucking, if I could turn it off and on, I would just turn that shit off and I would never turn it back on. It is not fucking easy to do this shit. It is not good for you. It is not healthy. It is a fucking incredible sacrifice that people do not understand. Okay? Oh, drugs are cheating. Uh, anyone can be fat and strong. Yeah. Why don't you motherfuckers take the same fucking shit, put the same money for it, eat the same way, train the same way, and then get back to me in like 10 years? Okay? Then get fucking back to me. Oh, what's that? You don't want to shut your hormones down for life? You don't want to grow bitch tits and get possible erectile dysfunction and bald and die young? You don't want to have blood pressure problems and fucking heart disease and shit? Oh, oh, you don't, you don't want to tear your shoulder every other fucking week, risking injury every time you walk in the fucking gym? You don't want to have to deal with that? You don't want to have to eat all the fucking time until you're sick? Oh, okay, well then shut the fuck up.
Fuck you.